out here. But, uh, first of all, just so you know what's going on, the uh, the only junior here, Josh Keller, Columbus, is on mat three against Noah Fai, a freshman of New Hampton. And there's Zach Thompson from Perry against Michael Millage, a pair of freshmen. Michael Millage from Crestwood. Derek Holschlag taking on Devin Faley. Uh, Faley of Sergeant Bluff Luton, Holschlag from Union. Brennan Doble of Clear Lake taking, taking on Ryan Steffen of Crestwood. So a pair of Crestwood wrestlers out there. And they really made their case in the quarterfinals. That's how they got up there in the team score. A bunch of winners coming through. And they're making it tough on Minneapolis. Boy, look at down here on mat number six in the bottom right corner of your screen. It's Doble of Clear Lake coming oh. out right away with the oh. two-point takedown. Oh, my goodness, over there at number four, you talk about fast. We're going for the fall over there. <laughs> Looks that, like uh, Thompson and Millage. Millage on Thompson. Millage. That is a quick fall here in the semifinals. There's going to be a lot less nerves going through that part of the stands right now. Their parents and so forth. You come out, you take the, care of the job that fast. Millage knocked off a undefeated number one in the quarterfinals to get here, and he proves it's no fluke. This is a <laughs> tremendous season. Of course, he's rated number two on the year. A couple of tough freshmen at the top of the rankings. Millage just puts the hammer down early. That quick, Mark, though, we were looking at Matt Six, and boom, he got him on four. He did get him. He's got a two-point uh, two takedown, and then Gave up an escape to Stefan to Crestwood and then took him down again. He's still got 30 seconds left to go here in this in the period, first period of that match. Over there on mat number five, which is the bottom left corner of your screen, yep. we've got Hallslag of Union Laporte City, which is the younger brother of the state champion that will be coming up here in a little while. He's wrestling Faley of Sergeant Bluff and just got taken down. Nice takedown there by Faley of Sergeant Bluff. The good thing about that shot right there is when he got in on that shot, he wasted no time in finishing it, brought the leg up right away, cut across, was able to finish it, ended up going from a single leg to a double leg and finishing in bounds and knowing where he's at before he went out of bounds. Faley got such a big win earlier beating a former champion, Tristan Britt, you know, in, in the round before that. He's quite a story right now. Yeah, he knocked off Tristan Burt, uh, senior looking to defend his title in the quarters and uh, Faley, both him and his brother, who's graduated, great wrestlers for Sergeant Bluff. Luton never quite got this far, and now good to see him get through there. Uh, maybe not for the Burt family at the moment, but. <laughs> and, and there's also, on map four, the first of uh, Mediapolis' uh, team points on the line, except he's going up against Brock Rath. This is one of the freshmen, Swafford. Brennan Swafford of Mediapolis taking on Brock, Brock Rathbun, last year's champion. A lot of history between in Mediapolis and Swafford's there, but like you mentioned too, Bob, he's taken on Rathbun of center point Urbana, and that Rathbun is tough. And the thing that I like about this Rathbun is the fact that he wrestles year round. He puts a lot of time on the mat. You know, he travels around and uh, wrestles with the likes of Happel out of the Will Lisbon and the 1A, you know, and uh, as as well as uh, Eddieville Blakespur's Glasser. You know, he, he doesn't just train, you know, in, in center point of band. He goes outside of his area and he hits up other camps and clinics and freestyle tournaments and other rooms and he seeks out good competition that he can train with to make himself better. Yeah, I think uh, his family supports that, obviously, and they're busy, and he does that year-round, like Mark says. His hero, Dave, Derek St. John. <laughs> you know, and it was yeah. St. John's father who actually got him into this, talked him into trying wrestling as a really wow. tiny kid, and it's paying off. That's cool. And, and he's kind of like Derek St. John, really quiet, keeps to himself and wins. Well, he's looking to get his second title this year, if he can get done here. A tough 120 pounder. He got second as a freshman, of course, to Patrick Woods, who he beat last year in the quarters. And uh, it's 46 and 0 uh, at the end of the regular season. He comes comes in here undefeated. He's up to 48 and 0. Over there, Matt, number five, Holschlag and Faley all tie it up over there yeah, in the second tough. period, two to two. There's Faley trying to get a shot, but a reshot by Holschlag. No score there as they exchange some attacks. A nice little lateral drop right there. I can't see who that was for. Actually, that was for Stefan of Crestwood. Good thing for Doble that they were out of bounds right there. Stefan of Crestwood was warned for stalling right before he hit that throw on the edge of the mat. Right now, scores eight to four in favor of Doble of Clear Lake. A little false start right there by Stefan of Crestwood. Second period comes to an end, eight to four lead. 
for Doble. End of the first period over here, mat number four. It's Rathbun with a two to zero lead. I didn't see who picked neutral there. You don't see that very yeah, often. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes if a wrestler's got things going on in his feet or he feels very uncomfortable on bottom, you know, that's where scouting comes into play a little bit. Ooh, look, look at, at that. Look at this by Swafford. Swafford coming back strong here in this period. He's trying to attack. Hit a little throw by action right there off of uh, Rathbun's shot. Drops into the leg. That's good wrestling by him. But then look at Rathbun fighting it off. But then Swafford Ooh. comes and hooks up a sweep single action right there. And he's got Brock Rathbun in a lot of trouble here. Tight, tight headlock. Wow. We're looking at Matt Great Ford. action between these fight. two. He's getting out. Look at Rathbun trying to fight off of his back. And he is going to get off. This is wow, going to to a two-point reversal. That is just fantastic wrestling right there Jeez. from both parties. That's what wrestling's all about. That's a lot of fun to watch. Brennan Swafford, a freshman, not afraid of the champ. Not Brock Rathbun, a junior. Boy, he hit a, just a great carry right there to put Rathbun to his back, and then went to a headlock. And I tell you right now, when Rathbun fought off his back out of that headlock, that's not easy to do. That's tough. You won't that's see very many coming out of there. Out of. Exactly. Just updating on Matt Five. It looks like Holshock did get the takedown. He's up four to two now. Keller takes the lead now, 3-2 over five. The freshman for New Hampton on Matt Three. Yep. Minute 14 and counting left in that one at 106. Well, this match down here, Matt number four. Whoa. Five to four right now. A lot of firepower. Hoschlag has got yeah. Bailey on his back over there. Matt number five, bottom left screen. Lots of time left. Hoschlag in a situation where he could, if he could just lay right there and just hold him there, he's got this, he's got this match won. Kind of a helpless feeling for Faley. <laughs> Not a fun position he's to be just, in. He can't even bridge his, he's trying to. Doing everything again just to keep his shoulder from touching, but the situation is, you don't get off your back, the match is over. But the thing is, if you roll through and try to fight it, you actually cinch it up even tighter yeah. against you. So it's no kind win. of a no-win situation for Bailey right there. Holschlag has got this one won. Third period, only 15 seconds to go. So Holschlag will yeah. more than likely join his older brother, which we have yet to see wrestle here, in the finals tomorrow night. That's pretty cool, and two yeah, brothers cool. can make the finals at the same time. Brennan, uh, looks like Doble taking care of Stefan down here on mat six. 11-4 lead, 14 seconds left. And there was just nowhere for Faley to go there. He just had to wait it out. It's a big win for Holschlag. Derek Holschlag, first union winner here in the semifinals at 113. The Port City trying to get points for the team race. Rathbun now 7-6 on the freshman, Brennan Swafford of Minneapolis, third period. Keller wins on Matt three over five. 4-2 the final there, so Keller, Keller the junior moves on. We have our first Prairie 